Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing It Ace channel. JavaScript lesson 20 is going to be about object constructor. JavaScript is an object based language and it is based on prototypes rather than being class based like Java and C++. So there are differences between a class based and prototype based languages. In this article it explains quite well on how to understand this. So I'm going to leave you up to it up to you for to read this and I'm going to continue on with uh, the lesson and explain the practicalities of using this uh, object constructor. So object constructor has a property called prototype which is the what we used. So this prototype property is also object. So we can uh, add properties and uh, methods to this prototype and these will be inherited by the objects that we create. So let's quickly look at example how we can do this. So in my JavaScript file, I have created a new object and I have assigned it a new property prop1 and I have used this object with capital O and prototype property and added a new property called and given it the value of new property. So if we console log this new object, we will of course see this prop1 and we will see this new property as well but let's see how it works so we have this object with prop1 and the value if we expand this we have this proto proto object and this proto object has our property so new property so this is there so even if we create another another object let's create let's create another one object 1 and and let's console log that this object one will also have this new property so it is uh, it explains in this article how this happens prototype chains so first it looks for properties in the object next it goes to the proto object and then looks for properties there so th it gives an explanation very good explanation on how this works uh, so I'm going to add that to the description as well. Okay, so that is the prototype. So it allows us to add properties and methods that will be available for all the objects that is created. So let's do uh, the, we added a prototype property. Let's do a, a function as well. So let's create a new array and create one, two, three, and I'm going to do array object and I'm going to go create a function first and I'm going to create a function and what this function will do is return the first element so this zero okay now this method will be available in this object so we can do console log new array and we can call on the first function oops first method now we will get the value of one first is not defined is not a function hold on first function return this oh sorry i forgot the prototype and now let's check it out and we get 1. If we change this to 122, we get 122. So this first method is available to all array objects. First thing you have to realize is you shouldn't override the already available prototype methods and properties. So be careful on that. Please understand what is prototype and how it works before doing this in your code. Okay. So we covered prototype property. Now let's get into the uh, methods. So we have keys method. This will return an array of the object's own properties. So what are object's own properties? So if we take a look at this, uh, let's change this to object and refresh this. This prop one is object's own property. It is not an inherited property, but this this new property is an inherited property. So what the object's key uh, function does is object key function does is 
it returns its own property so if we do new object we will get if you console log that we will get only its own property so we'll get only one prop one uh, so so that is uh, keys method so what we can do is we can actually loop through and find uh, and console log each property that is owned by a particular object so we can do that by object keys pass in the new object or the object that you want know the keys of and call upon the for each function of course this um, this bit over here returns the array sorry this bit over here returns the array and we are looping through that array so function we get the item and of course next we can console log that out new object and pass in the item okay put the semicolon and refresh we get hello that is the only property we have property value we have so we can create another one prop2 and give it hello2 and refresh we get hello and hello2 so that is the keys method this is a very valuable uh, function that you can use if you want to know the object's own properties freeze uh, what this does is it, it simply freezes the object so if we freeze our object, we can't do anything to it. We can't edit a property value. We can't delete a property value or add. So let's do a simple example of that. I'm going to do, I'm going to freeze new object. So we do that by object, freeze and pass in the object. So new object. Once we do that, we can't edit anything. We will get a type error. So if we try to do object, prop one and override its value to something else we will get an error type error there you go it says type error cannot assign to read only property prop one so to make this safe to do this we can check if the particular object is frozen so we can do object is frozen and pass in the new object if it is frozen actually if it is not frozen we could put the negation there if it's not frozen then we can do something else I mean update the prop one if not let's not do anything we will not see the error that is because is frozen returns true and not negation of true is false so this won't work same goes to seal uh, seal is you cannot delete or add properties but you can edit them so if we change this to seal so if it is let's just remove this part we, let's comment this out and if an object is sealed we can update it okay we can edit it edit a value let's copy this paste and it will work we won't get any errors Okay, but if we try to delete it let's remove this and we'll try to delete it we will get an error again a type error so seal that is what the seal does is sealed is also a function to check if an object is sealed or not same as is frozen to checking if whether it's frozen is sealed checks whether it's sealed prevent extensions is you cannot uh, you can delete or edit a property, but you cannot add a property. So you can't extend a particular object if it is prevent extensions. If it, if the prevent extension is used, it is the same thing as is seal. You can do prevent extensions. Okay, if we do that, we can't add new property. So if we try to do prop three equals hello, we will get again get a type error. Okay. Uh, so you can check if it is extensible we just by using the is extensible function okay so those are the methods that will more that you will use most of course you will mostly use the keys method it is very important so please uh, try to look at the jQuery library and try to do what they have done using the, this prototype object okay I will add these three links to the description please read this first object model 
then you will understand more about the prototype JavaScript prototypes by using reading this article and of course finally you can read this okay I hope you enjoyed this uh, please this is kind of an advanced lesson we are getting into the good stuff now next we will be doing custom objects how to create custom objects in JavaScript uh, stay tuned for stay tuned for that do subscribe and do hit the like and share have a good day take care